<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Robbie on here. Back. I, I can't say back. Starting Nekapar Volume 1. I figure, you know what? Let's try to get this Nekapar thing done. Because Volume 3 is coming out, and I am excited for it. I think it actually already is out, to be fair. Just not on Steam. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you're all excited for this. I know I am. Nekapar is one of my favorite visual novel series next to the Sakura games. But I I feel like this... I'm Let's just say I'm glad. Okay? Because I had to turn off the H animations. And I'm glad about that because I didn't know there was an option to do it in the game itself. So I'm really happy about that. <clears throat> I'm happy that I don't have to do any censoring or editing because that would be, well... Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't be fun. <clears throat> so I turned them off. Uh, yeah, so let's, I'm really excited to get into this. So let's just do it. Uh, let's play the movers line again. Even though he's not important. Oh, I hear things. I hear a truck. Vroom, vroom, get out me truck. Yeah, that was really bad. I, I don't want to blame you for leaving the video right now. <clears throat> okay, so okay, he's not talking, so I'll say Cashew's lines because uh, he doesn't have a voice, and everyone else does. So I'll say Cashew. I didn't actually have to speak in the last one, so this is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> um, phew. This should be most of the boxes then. I wiped the shred off my forehead with my arm. Also, in the last one, there wasn't any like narration either. Volume zero. Because it was focusing around the girls of the series. And all the girls had voices. And they also... You weren't really inside the head of them. They were just telling the story of everything. <clears throat> so, okay. So, as the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring. Today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Let me just check something. Okay. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery. Which didn't even have any signage yet. I think when you read the narrations like that, so there's different, uh, there's difference in it. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There's also a large window which lets lots of sunlight in. Finally, there are the words that display the name of the bakery, La Soleil. Instead of the proper French article Le, Le it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. It was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the sat stature of my family's name and everything that had happened up until now. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still. Although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. All right. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, we get to see the inside of the bakery. Da 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 da. da. Hmm. What's with this big box? Two big boxes. In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there are two of them. Wan. Fragile. Delicate. Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. <laughs> That's great. The warnings are going overboard. They are getting annoying. <laughs> Even if these are baking surprise supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, there are boxes that look like they came from my house. If these were the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There are no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those two, those large warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... Oh, it's shaking. Achoo! Huh? Oh my goodness. This is great. Da, 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 da. 
And there's the cat. No. <laughs> oh, it's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. They actually think he's stupid. They really do. Like that would fool me! What are you doing, Chocola? There's the cute little... There's the cute little Neko. There's the cute little Neko. <laughs> Were they really mean? Okay. Yes, you... Boom, boom. She was really fuming if she went boom, boom. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what she ignored what I said. Chocola puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you described Chocola. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. I wonder who's in the other box. Hey. The other adorable Neko. The other one, Vanilla. I really like Vanilla's hair. And I probably didn't say that in the last one, but I really do. Why is Vanilla here too? It's true, cats like boxes. She was steaming, not fuming. Again, huh? In any case, Chocola, Vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wit's end with the large box that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocola and Vanilla got out of their boxes. Here we go! Nope, not yet. You don't get any animations yet, the emotes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigiri doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There's no way that Chocola and Vanilla couldn't have just gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails, just like cats do. They are genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into society. As pets and families are partners to humans, my little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So our family has six, including chocolate and vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have nailed themselves, eh, mailed themselves on, all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible, for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that this was somehow Shigiri's doing. I see, so Shigiri was an accomplice then. Do you get to see emotes? We do! Do you know what emotes means? The P button. You got the P button with maximum bounce. Okay, so. Yeah. Did you say mew bedding? Oh my. Is it perfect? Sorry, that bad. Oh, so she says new, but not Chocola? So she says new, okay. Yeah, 
フシニコマフモフモフ了解 That's right、uh, But no one's acting like a Like freaking code Not code name、uh, Like an agent or something He's like code He's like snuggling confirmed Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves Yeah sure Like they're not gonna do that Not any old tensions The two cat girls were off and running Well the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor So I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here Of course They aren't young cat girls anymore either So I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much Well, besides that, I looked up an address in my phone's address book, Manaduki Residence. Well, I already left Shigiri a message so she could call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket and moved out without saying anything. So for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this minute. I should hear from Shigiri soon, anyhow. Hey, Chocola, you are really close, so I'm gonna do this. Oh? Thanks for eating my bed. Is it like fluff out of fluff or something? Good work, you two. I definitely needed my bed rated. Gosh, both of you have major bed head. Sheesh. I tidied up their hair with a comb. The soft hair felt nice as always. I really bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? He didn't want to bring the cat girls with him. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to read this.、Uh, you had no choice? You just tagged along? You two. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but. Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were, if you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigeru and the other cat girls were there, too. It would be better if you two just. And they're hungry. Oh, that was like a little mini pee button already. She's hungry. I love their tails. The little ribbons on them. Kawaii. While listening to this, Celia used to just glance at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I hadn't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? These two were always were as easy going as always. Hey! I'm getting fired up, meow! Meat, huh? Must be meat. I'm so glad I don't have to do voices for them. Girls' voices aren't exactly my best thing. Well, remember back in volume zero, he was always baking before I moved out. He didn't go shopping at all, really, except for ingredients, and he didn't take you guys. Squishing vanilla's cheeks. Can I like get a picture of that? It tickles. <laughs> mm, I just took a drink. You'll bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two. 
Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you come here, we have just about everything. That was how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Wait, don't you two go shopping with Shigeru often? Hmm. Hey, first of all, Shigiri is your master. That makes a lot of sense. No, not right. It, it actually isn't right, Chocola. That's right, they say clap, not actually clap. Uh, so yeah, I don't understand her reasoning either, Vanilla. I'm with you there. Never mind then. Anyhow, keep it up down inside the store, okay? I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. I want to do that. It smells really sweet and nice too. Sweet and nice are like synonyms in that sense. You know, not, not to point that out. But that's stuff for you two to use. I don't need it, so put it down and come over here. Yeah, that's kind of mean. You know, they don't just ask for shampoo. Wait, I just heard some ruffling. <laughs> Don't just say that and then toss that in the basket all nonchalantly. Oh, I had to be on guard or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. <laughs> Sorry, Master. So you're excited, huh? Yeah, sure, they're honest. Not you. Did you just slip something in? Again? It has nothing to do with being honest. I'm telling you, don't just put the shampoo in the basket like that. Put it back. They get the shampoo for their beautiful hair. Come on, please. I wouldn't either. Oh, even the female customers have voices. Yeah, he's mean. Yeah, report him. To put on some kind of act to confuse the customers around us? Seriously. We'd only just moved here. Suddenly, we already had disapproving glares directed at us. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. He is. He didn't even get your shampoo. Wait, she wasn't done. Whoops. Yeah, he didn't even buy your shampoo. I'm not a cheapskate. Besides, I nearly got reported. After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward that I don't think I could visit the shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that that was the cute side of cat girls. Oh, they smell something. They are smelling something. What is it? What food is it? It definitely does. What is this smell? I turn towards the source of it. Uh, 
めっちゃ遠ぶいらっしゃいませたこ焼き美味しい出来たてのたこ焼きいかがですかえ、actually if the if there's one Japanese food I want to try, I actually do want to try takoyaki eventually. I don't think it's run by her. I really don't. I'm actually going to do something.、Uh, I'm getting a screenshot here. So I just had an idea. Okay. Is it rare? No. Is it really rare though? Honto She waved her tiny hands as she politely drew customers in. And here it turns. She looked like she was about 12 or 13 years old. And Kai, she was about six months old. The young cat girl noticed us and ran over. Oh, so she calls them all sisters. Oh, really? Nothing? No bounce? Well, I guess she's a little. Hey, but she's not as fat as vanilla. That's a thing. I'm actually getting another screenshot. And、they don't look too much older. But you guys are still pretty young. Nade nade. So nade, I'm guessing, means pat. Hmm. Oh, deep voice. Oh, that's. Well, not deep, but like an adult. Are you the owner? Yes, I am the owner, actually. The owner of the food stand greeted us. Yes, I am.、Uh, well, to be more exact, my little sister is our owner. I want to say they're smart. Well, maybe vanilla, but not chocolate. Hey, maybe. The food stand owner had a weird smile on her face as she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. At a glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it easy to overlook things. Mine were originally stray, so I don't know, actually know how old they are. v e r n a r i said they were twins and were now about nine months old. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. Back then, they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. Well, that is all we ha I have time for today. I hope you all have enjoyed this first episode of Neko Park, because I know I did. Because they're Nekos, and it's chocolate and vanilla. It's amazing. So, you're gonna watch me do the save file right now. So,、uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you all had a fantastic day. If you did, If you liked the video, quick attack that like button and subscribe for more because we could always use another member of the Eevee, Eevee Nation. And you could become an Eeveelution, of course. So,、um, I guess I'll see you all later in my next video. Bye bye.